eyes on I'll hold my ground I'm gonna crash the lies of the enemy I won't back down Cause I'm not alone With you my God
Awesome time of worship. I'm so glad that you are here joining me today. We are going to recap just a little bit about what happened last week. See, last week we talked about a man. His name was Cornelius, and we talked about a man named Peter. Okay, now Peter got this vision, and Peter was able to tell this vision of a sheet. Like a sheet coming down with animals on it. And it was like the Holy Spirit coming down. And he told this vision to Cornelius and all these people, and they all started getting the Holy Spirit. And they started getting baptized. And it was totally cool and it was totally awesome the visions that God had given Peter. Now, this week, this week, we are going to talk a little bit more about Peter. See, Peter was this awesome man. He's this awesome dude. He's going around. He's going around the city and he's telling everybody, hey, do you know Jesus? Hey, Jesus loves you. Hey, I'm going to tell you about how Jesus died on the cross. See, Peter went around and he went around the city telling everybody about Jesus and that Jesus died and he's alive again. And see, there were some people there were some people that did not like him at all and didn't like that Christians 
and people were going around telling people about Jesus. So King Herod, he said and said to all the people, if you're telling them about Jesus, you will be arrested. And so Peter was arrested and was sent for trial and he got put into a jail cell. He was tied up in chains. He was in this jail cell. And one day, something, something miraculous happened. There was this bright light in the jail cell. And all of a sudden, there was an angel. An angel had come right in front of Peter and said, fear not, right? Because Peter's like scared. He's like in this jail cell and he's like, I don't know what this bright light is. I don't know who this angel is. But you know what? The angel said to him, fear not. And the angel took the chains right off of Peter. And the angel used his mighty power and opened the cell door where Peter was staying. And Peter's like, dude, what do I do? Do I just stand here? Like, I mean, I got these chains off me and this door just opened. Uh, what, do, what, do, what am I gonna do? Like, I don't know if I should just walk out. What do I do? And the angel said, follow me. And so Peter followed the angel. He followed the angel right past the guards. Right past him. The guards are all sitting there on the ground. They're just like, they're all sleeping. They're all like, just, uh, you know, just laying there. And, and Peter, he just like walks right by them with this angel that he's following. And they didn't even budge. They didn't even move. They didn't do anything. Peter just walked right by. So he's following this angel. They're like trucking around. They're like going and they're going and they're going and they get to this door on the outside of the prison. And, and Peter's like, what? He's thinking to himself, how am I going to get past this now? And the angel with all of his strength was like, don't worry, dude. I'm your superhero. I got this. And so the angel just opened that door and went on through the door. And Peter was like, whoa, like this door just opened like the angel opened this door and now I'm, I'm able to go out. And so soon as Peter saw that the door was open, he's like, I'm going out guys. So he walked out of that door and he's like, I need to go to my friends. So he went running to his friends. He went to the door, he knocks on it. He's like, hey dude, hey, it's me, Peter. I'm outside, hello, is there anybody in there? Are you gonna answer me? Now see his friends, his friends, they're in there and they're all praying for Peter and they're like, oh dear Jesus, please help Peter to come out and, and we're gonna pray for Peter in the cell, please keep him safe. And, and all of a sudden this knock on this door happens and this lady goes up to the door and she's hearing, hey, hey, guys, it's me, Peter. And she's like, what? Like, no, it can't be. So she goes running back to everybody inside and she's like, hey guys, um, there's like this weird person outside that um, it says he's Peter, uh, but Peter's supposed to be in the jail. Uh, what should I do? And they're like, well, did you open the door to see if it was Peter? And she's like, well, uh, no, that'd be a little weird. So like she gets to the door and opens the door with everybody behind her and they're like, oh, it is Peter. And Peter's like, dude, it's me. And they're like, dude, it's Peter. And, and it was so cool because Peter was standing there and they're like, but how did you, and why are you, and how did you get out of that cell? Um, I'm a little confused. Like, did the guards let you out? Um, are you free now? Like, 
What's going on? And so he's like, dude, you'll never guess what just happened. I escaped. And they're like, well, well, we obviously know you're out, but how did you escape? You can't, what did you? And he's like, no, 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 guys. Guys, you'll never believe this. This bright light came into my cell and an angel was right in front of me. And he was like, fear not. And I'm like, well, all right. And he's like, this angel, it's like, I'm gonna open the gates for you and I'm gonna take your chains off. And like, I'm standing there with my chains and this angel was just like, whoa. And, and, and the chains just fell off and like the door just opened. And the angel was like, follow me. And so I was like, well, is this too good to be true? Like, should I follow you or what? Like, I don't know if this is God or, or what? This is a little weird. So anyways, I followed the angel and we got to the door that was outside the prison. And, and I was like, well, dude, how am I supposed to get out now? I can't climb the wall. I can't like, there's nothing to climb. Like there's no door. And the angel was like, well, pfft hello, I'm from God, and just like open that door. And, and, and then I got out and now I'm here with you and I'm telling you about this awesome story because the Holy Spirit was with me and, and the angel was with me and it was, it was God, guys, like it was God. And so they're all like, whoa. And everybody else is like, whoa. And they were all like, whoa. And it was really cool because in that moment, the Holy Spirit was with them all as he was telling that, that story. And you know what? I just want you to know that the Holy Spirit can be with you too. Maybe you've got something that you're holding on to. Maybe you've got a chain that's around you. Maybe you've been, been not nice to your friends or maybe you've been not nice to your mom and dad and you're carrying this chain, you're, you're, you're held up in this chain or maybe you're scared, maybe you're afraid, maybe you've got fear in you or, or any of those things. God wants you to know that you can escape from those chains. You can escape just like Peter did. Peter escaped because God helped him. And God can help you too. God can take away your fear. God can take away your sadness. God can take away the sickness that is in you. And God can turn all of that around for good. If you just ask him, you ask the Holy Spirit, say, Holy Spirit, Jesus, please come. God, please come. Please be in my life. Please fix me. Please take away the bondage. Please take away the chains that are on me. Take away the sickness. Take away the sadness. Take away the fear out of my life right now. And so right now, if that's you, if you think that you might be scared, you might be sick, you might be feeling very sad, Maybe you know somebody that's sick. Maybe you know somebody that's scared or sad. Right now, we're just going to pray for them. And we're going to pray for you right now. And so, dear Jesus, I ask you right now, I ask you to come. We invite you. We invite you, Holy Spirit, to come to minister to these kids. We ask you to come and minister to the people that maybe they're thinking about, that maybe is sick, maybe is sad, maybe has fear. God, we ask you to come. We ask you to bring your presence upon them right now. And we ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to break those chains, to break that sickness, to break the sadness, to break the fear right now in the name of Jesus. You have no part, you have no part fear, no part sickness in this life. Sadness, go away in the name of Jesus. We ask all of these things in your name, Jesus, in your mighty, amazing name. We 
ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. That was an awesome story about Peter and how he escaped from prison. I hope that you can go this week and you can be free. You can have those chains lifted off of you. You can have that fear gone and that sickness gone and the sadness gone. And you can live in Jesus' love and grace and amazingness because God is amazing. So I just want you to remember that Jesus loves you. He thinks you're amazing. And he loves what you are doing for him. All right, guys, you have an awesome week. I will see you next Sunday. Bye.